Hello, hello, hello! Welcome! Right, let's have a look see. Welcome everyone to Plane Mechanics Simulator. Nice chilled stream. I've got a quick hour, so I thought I might as well fill it with a bit of uh, live streaming. Just doing another little test as well. Everything seems to be going well. Uh, I've managed to take the mic off mute for the first time, which is always a positive step forward. And we have a job. Job number 3419. Um, Wait for it. Beautiful. Uh, another fight with large bomber group. No kills. Just circuit. Hang on. Short circuit just after touchdown. Make sure it's fixed before the next mission. Okie koki. Got a bit of electrical work to do. So replace all gun port patches. Fix the electrical system. Huh? And uh, refuel the aircraft and rearm the machine guns. Oh god, we've never done any... Um, uh, we've never done any electrics before. Live working great. Great. Fantastic. Good to hear. Thank you very much and hello, hello, hello. Right, so first off, uh, let's do something easy and get the um, patches off and we'll get the guns rearmed. Let me know how the audio is. Um, you know, game audio versus my my um, commentary. That'd be great. Uh, it's incredibly loud in my ears, so I've just turned it down on my headset. Uh, but if it's deafening you guys, then I'd be more than happy to adjust it for your comfort and convenience. Right. Um, what am I doing? It's only been a week, and I can't remember how I'm doing this. Right, we're doing rearming them, so we need to get this bit off. Oh, I did need to get that off. Oh my goodness, what am I doing? I'm all over the shop. Oh, there we go. Right, so we need to take that out. We need to release that. And take those two bits off. Same for this one. Bish, bash, bosh. Uh, get this off. Good old rearming these beautiful aircraft. Sometimes I think I'm trying to go too fast. I know I can do this quite quickly. I think I'm just trying to go faster than is actually feasibly possible. So uh, I'm just making mistakes. So let's slow it down, and things should come a lot easier to me. There we go. So how is everyone? Having a lovely Tuesday? Oh, first couple of days of the week done. Settle back. Only, oh god. It's still a long way to the weekend, I know. But uh, hopefully, we'll all make it. And uh, hopefully try and get a... Let me have a thing. What's happening this week? I'm still still trying to um, sort out some sort of uh, streaming schedule. I always say, right, we'll get that sorted, but then work comes along and uh, you find yourself incredibly busy in the evening. Before you know it, you're sitting down, it's 9 o'clock at night, and you're thinking, crikey, it's getting a bit late now. But I guess that's the way. I always thought once the... Um, winter came, you know, the evening's getting dark at four, that, you know, there'll be plenty of time for live streaming, but, you know, for some reason that didn't happen. Always stuff to do, but... Ah. Hey-ho. Right. Let's get this quickly done. You there, you there. Lovely. Right, that's that one done. Uh, we just need to put the well, the gun patches on, but also we need to just uh, put the ammunition into the, the stocks, and we should be uh, laughing. Right, and then we can settle down and figure out what this electrical issue is. Not much information they gave us. I'm guessing it's probably going to be engine electrics, because if not, I'm not sure what else we can do. There's not that much in terms of electrical stuff around this aircraft that we've looked at before. The radio, I suppose. And also the... Um... Oh, I suppose that's it, isn't it? It's just the radio and just the electrical components of the engine. So uh, we'll have to see how that goes. Right, but this is getting done nicely now. There we go. Bish bash bosh. Place all gun port patches. Yep. Let's hop up here. Quickly unscrew all these. 
We'll be doing a lot of this. If you're new to this game, you'll be seeing a lot of this because uh, rearming is like the standard part of every job. So you have to do this pretty much for everyone, which is yeah, realistic. You always make sure your aircraft are good to go. Feed the ammo in, breach down. Feed the ammo in, breach down. Feed the ammo in, breach down. Cover on. Uh, did I do that one? No. Ammo in, breach down. There we go. Lovely. That was that wing done. Let's just run around the back. Dooby dooby doo. I'm stuck. And quickly do this one. Lovely. So loud. So loud. But so beautiful at the same time. Right, these ones on. Right, get you open, you in. Down, on. There's the guns reloaded. Sweet. Right, now what? Um, fix the electrical system, refuel the aircraft. Okay, no problems. So, uh, I suppose we shouldn't be standing on the wing when we're having a look. Let's um, take this side cowling off then and have a look under the hood. If we go to inspect mode, so pristine low ignition wire all looks good. Uh, that's all bits and bobs down there. Audio from you is clear, good settings. Thank you, thank you very much. Always good to know. Thank you for the feedback. So you can hear my ramblings clear and... <laughs> I was going to say precise, but I, I don't suppose ramblings are ever precise. Um, we'll just do a little quick check of... Uh... Ah, the generator's damaged. Okay. Everything else around the generator? We, no, this doesn't appear to be uh, fixable or something. Um, is that generator fixable? It is repairable. Okay, let's try and get a repair done as well, get some more XP. Uh, number one generator. Uh, of course, you repair everything by just dobbing some oil on it. Standard practice. Wartime mechanics. Three gets a pass and four gets a pristine. There we go, this will be a usable part then. Where's that last bit? There. Oh, it's a tight one. Nailed it. Yeah, you part fully restored. Look at that. Uh, let's pop this on then and see if this fixes the problem. No. That was part of the problem, clearly. Right, okay, we'll follow it back then. Um, so that goes into the thing we bob, which goes onto the debris. The magneto there looks fine. Uh, let's get the top bar bit off so we can have a look on the top. Right, here we go. Uh, right, let's check the top. What? Oh, can we? Can we check these? Oh, support coolant. Um, This has got nothing to do with electrical stuff, but I feel like I need to just look at it anyway. It's not electrical, but uh, it just rules out anything. Right, um, hydraulic pump, it's got nothing to do with air compressors, nothing to do with it. Um, but it's nice to check. The starboard magneto is fine. Uh, it could be perhaps oil control valve. I've never seen that one before. Um, I wonder if it's a dodgy spark plug. So let's. Should we get the ignition wires off and have a quick check of the sparks? Bring that around here. There we go. That's gone. Right, quick look at they all look. Yeah, they look fine. Fine, fine. 
yeah we'll have to have a look at those in a second under here fine 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 they'll be red obviously if they're they're not fine I can't angle the dangle quite right there that's okay um, let's take these ignition wires off then and have a quick look at these sparkies right um, let's have a look oh hang on I can't move um, pristine 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 they're all green That spark plug is fine. 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 Uh, oh, pristine and pristine. No, it's not that then. Okay. Put the ignition wires back on. Those ignition wires are damn good as well. Um, let's just have a quick look. Fix the electrical system. Oh, okay. Um, ten minutes left. Oh my God, it's timed. They never said it was timed. Oh, they keep throwing these little things at us. Starter. Oh, good shout. Good shout. Have a look at the shout at the starter. Hang on. Can't hear myself think. Now, as the French would say, "Ouh, le starter." Um. Know my way around here, as you can tell. Where's the starter? 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 Engine starter. Oh, it's fine. Good try. Um, that goes into the. What what other electrical things do we have in the engine? Can you think? Anything? Um, suppressor. Oh, suppressor's damaged. There we go. It was staring me right in the face. Often is. Quick check to see if that is repairable. Oh, it's not. We need to get a brand new one of those. Okay, fine. Oh, brilliant. Uh, yes, the ignition wires were checking A-OK. -okay. So were the spark plugs. I think we found it, though. The suppressor <coughs> may be the key. Very often it's right in front of your nose, isn't it? The issue. There's still more. There's still more, apparently. OK. OK. So we'll follow the wire back, which goes into that box there, uh, which goes then in there. There's nothing in the cockpit, is there? There's not a magneto switch or something in here, the battery switch. Oh, where's the battery? Is that behind the seat? This is the radio hatch, but I'm wondering if there's a battery in here. This is all okay, isn't it? This isn't damaged at all. It hasn't damaged the battery, the radio battery. No, that's okay. That's good. That's not the battery I was thinking of, mind you. Um, what I want to do is see, can I get my head in there? We've got air bottles in there. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe that was a bit of a... If I can zoom in there again. Let's have a little looky under here. What have we got? Anything interesting? Can I force myself behind the seat? That's the air bottle. Um, no, okay. Fuel pump! Uh, I think we check the fuel pump. Uh, would that be classed as electrical system? I'm not sure, but we can definitely check it. 
Uh, where's me checking me, Bob? Uh, fuel pump was on the the other side, wasn't it? Ooh, let's just swing around, swing under that. There we go. Um, Hydraulic pumps okay. Where's the fuel uh, filter? Is okay. All oil filter is okay. Saying on, follow that to the pump, which would be um, I don't know. Oh my goodness, it's been a while. You lose your bearing in these engines, don't you? It's the oil control valve. Anything under the prop? Uh, we can have a look. It's a good show. I'm kind of. Let's have a look. What have we got here? Um, it's the pitch. No, nothing there. Right. We know. We hang on. If I can get off the propeller for a second, let's do this logically. We know the generator was damaged. We know the suppressor was damaged, so let's follow that. So that goes there. That goes into the um, the w the wheel case. Okay, which goes into that, which is okay. The port magneto, which is part of the electrical system, is all okay. We know. Five minutes to go. Cool, blimey. Auto fire. Good evening. Um, we're just trying to find a part of the dodge dodgy electrical system. The generator here was damaged, the suppressor here was damaged, and we still haven't repaired. There's the fuel pump. Ah, it's fine. Found it in the end, but yeah, it's fine. Um, yeah, we're struggling for ideas. Well, I am. Uh, I'm I'm just gone to uh, trying to flick to fix everything. Um, oh my goodness, we may fail this one. The magnetos are fine. The induction is pristine. The Spark plugs we've checked, they're good. The HT leads or the ignition leads we've checked, they're good. What else have we got? Starter motor, we've checked there. Engine starter is fine. Um, yeah. I think we've covered the basics. I just can't think of um Oh my goodness me. Is it worth taking the magneto off just to see if there's anything behind it? I'm running out of ideas, so if in doubt start taking bits out. <laughs> there's a plug need is it got a bit dirty connection or something we just need to Maybe we take we'll take this wheel casing off because if that was damaged and this was damaged, it might be linked in. So we'll quickly stick the port magneto back in, and let's see if we can take. Can we? Oh no 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 no! I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. Go away. Thank you. Um. Oh, that. Can we? Oh God, we got to take everything off to get into that. Yeah, really don't want to be doing that. Really don't want to be doing that. There isn't too much else. No, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, and let's, let's just let's just color, color these in for the sake of it. Um, but it's saying that we've definitely got fixed the electrical system. We've got the, we've only got the cowlings in there, so it's not as if I've taken something apart and not put it back together. Um, oil filter. That magneto is fine. Where does that? That's that goes up to the, the ignition lead, doesn't it? And that comes over there. Uh, 
Uh, I can always take these off again, conf just to confirm to myself that it was all okay. I'm getting myself in some weird angles today, aren't I? How am I balancing on the propeller? I don't know. I don't know. Right. This is a sanity check. Prestine, Prestine, Prestine. If I miss the spark plug, I'm just going to cry. Prestine, Prestine, Prestine. Uh, I can't see the. I can't see any spark plugs. Here we go. Fine, fine, Prestine. Fine, fine. One minute left. Fine. So that is fine. They they can all go back on. That is all good and groovy. Connected to the magneto. That is grand. Um, supercharger. I think. Uh, supercharger is fine. Ooh, it was there a minute ago. Supercharger there. Fine. Um, let's just check the lower ignition let cables in. We're not going to get it with one minute to go, but we need to get it eventually. We'll just fail the um, the timer aspect, so our pilot won't be able to make it up for his sortie. So we'll get a bit of a penalty, but we st still should be able to complete uh, the mission. So, fine, 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 and dandy. Right. It's all looking fine. Um, fine, 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 and fine. I'm googling Merlin engine components. <laughs> yeah, that I think that might be one hell of a rabbit hole we might get ourselves down if we go that <laughs> go that far. Um, where is the battery on these things? I thought it'd be in the cockpit or behind the cockpit somewhere. get on there. Right, let's get back into the... Can we get... Oh, God, I'm trying to get... I'm stuck. Now, if I can... Here we go. We're back in the cockpit. Anything in here? Anything in here at all? Um, let's try and think about this logically. We've got some switches here. So the battery switches are... Oh my goodness, it's a long time since I've flown this bit far. In in a simulation, obviously I've never actually flown one. Um, um, Metal Witcher, oh Metal Witcher, aren't there uh, battery components uh, on the opposite side of the radio? Oh, sorry, thanks for highlighting that, I missed that. Um, I did look in here earlier. Was I just blind? How do I get in there? Hang on. Let me try and fadangle the angle and uh, hopefully. Can't get my head in. Should we take this out? Let's get the radio out then and, uh, and see what's what. And let's have a good nose in here. He says, hopeless with the other, other side of the aircraft. Oh. Where are we looking? Well, that minute's gone now, isn't it? Is the axis on the other side? Not that I can see. 
Well, there's lots of rivet holes where I... Oh. Oh, there we are. <laughs> Great shout! Oh, that's what it was. That's what it was. Oh, I knew the battery was back here somewhere. I could... Wow, look at the um, all the repairs we've done and, and uh, how that looks from the inside. Great shout, guys. Great shout. Well done, Metal Witcher. Well done. Where were you 15 minutes ago? <laughs> I could have really used your help then. Um, oh, we got there. Well done. Well done, everyone. I consider that a team effort. <laughs> oh, a battery. Brilliant. Brilliant. I've never noticed that um, spot before. That's well hidden. Task completed. There we go. Oh, my goodness. I better put the radio back to get... Oh, my God. Oh, we're okay. Don't know what happened there. Some weird magic weirdness. In all these missions, we've never touched that section. No, <laughs> we haven't, have we? We have a winner. We do. <laughs> well done. Great shout. Great shout. We could have been here a long time. Right. Radio. I suppose I should really tune that radio, but they didn't ask me to do that. So I think... We just need to refuel the aircraft and put it back together, and we're good. Oh. Okay, we can all relax. Everyone relax. Well done. Well done, Metal Witcher. Well done. Um, get yourself a reward of some kind, a drink or uh, or something. A beverage, a beverage of your choice. Maybe a nice sweet biscuit or cake to go along with it, if you have one handy. You truly deserve tea and medals for that shout. Uh, there we go. Nope, one more. There we go. Brilliant. Right. I'm really getting... I've walked into that propeller so many times this evening. It's ridiculous. Right. Quick refuel. And she is uh, 10 minutes behind schedule, but she is good to go. She can go up in the second wave. Glass of Pinot will have to do. <laughs> oh, see, I'm all, all over the shop now. Well, there we go. That's the first time I've seen the battery compartment. That is... Uh, it's like a new horizon for me. She was empty, wasn't she? She he really was flying on fumes. That's good. All primary. Off you go, Steve. Thanks, Steve. All primary jobs completed. Eventually. <laughs> and we're there. Huzzah! Right. Job well done. Apart from the time. Excellent. So replace all gun port patches. Fix the electrical system. Eventually. Refueled the aircraft. Rearmed the machine guns. Saved spare parts. Oh, we, we did do that. Final result. Perfect job. Oh, they're not penalizing us for not getting the time. Ooh. Happy days all round. Happy day. They obviously thought that was an unfair one as well. Ooh, what are they going to throw at us next, I wonder? So I think, I'm, I think I'm coming up to 60% complete of the game now, so we can't be too far off moving away from the Spitfire onto the Mosquito, which is obviously going to be double the trouble with the twin engines, but that should be fun. Interested to see what kind of um, Mosquito it's going to be, whether it's going to be a bomber, a fighter, or a, a recon aircraft, you know, very versatile aircraft. It'll be interesting to see um, what it goes out, what sorties it goes out on. But that's for the future. For now, we have job 3426. Engaged enemy formation over London. Damaged two bombers. None critical. On the third pass, got hit in the radiator. <sighs> Ooh, make your eyes water that well. As the boys purr over, replace all the gunport patches, replace the damaged radiator, 
We haven't done a radio before either, have we? Check the engine for damaged parts. Oh, crikey. Refill the coolant. Refuel the aircraft. Rearm the machine guns. Right. Get your Haynes manual out. We're going again. Do we have any bullet holes to repair as well? That may give us an indication of where the damage is. No, oddly. Um, so this, this is the radiator here. Obviously you can see that that's, that's damaged. Um, but I don't see any bullet holes. Which is a bit odd. Uh, replace the damaged radiator. No. You got hit in the radiator. With what? It doesn't appear that anyone shot at you. That's a bit suspicious. That's a bit suspicious if you ask me. But we'll do our job. And we'll get all this repaired. So we'll do the guns first because that's nice and quick. And uh, we can just paddle that out. And then we can get into the uh, nuts and bolts of the operation. To get that radiator sorted. And I know, I know what I'm doing here, so it's not too bad. <laughs> I don't have to sit there scratching my head, going, huh? What else is there? But yeah, that was a real curveball, that battery one. I kind of had battery in the corner of my mind. I had no idea it was there, though. I had a, I had a feeling it was sitting, but I, I, I don't know why. I thought it was behind the pilot's seat. And that, for some reason, felt like the logical place. I didn't think it was going to be that far back on the aircraft. And yeah, I've never seen that compartment before. Maybe that's poor mechanicing on my side. Always best to do the bits you can do. Yeah, no, I agree. Get those out of the way, and then you can um, spend the rest of your time uh, thinking about the stuff you don't know. <laughs> so it's, the, it's the story of my life there. Do the bits I can do, and then I sit there faffing over things I can't or don't know how to do. Brilliant. I do like that mechanic, that simple mechanic of signing for things. I don't know why. It's just a really nice mechanic, which I've not seen before. And it just adds that little bit more, especially as it's a military game. And you know, you're, you're getting stuff out of, uh, out of supplies. I never tire of that sound. And I can do this quickly so it looks like I know what I'm doing as well, which, which is quite impressive. Boo -hoo. Yeah, you see? See? Well well oiled team here. Yeah, brill. Is that one done? Don't walk into propeller. I still think even all this time I've put into this game, this this camera still gets the better of me. It's the same with Car Mechanic Simulator. Um, which I've had a couple of calls to do some Car Mechanic Simulator as well, so I might, if I get another evening when I've just got a, an hour or two to spare. Probably an hour, because I've only got an hour this evening, so... Oh god, I think that's almost gone. I'll give it another half hour though. Um, I'll probably just, you know, do something nice and chilled when I don't have to think too... Well, I say I don't have to think too much. These mechanic games do have you scratching your head at times, don't they? But uh, yeah, nice and chilled game. So, uh, and that's going to be pretty cool. Um, I was going to do a U-boat stream tonight, but the reason I didn't is because I recorded U-boat this morning. So I thought, ah, uh, that'll look a bit weird if I take up from where I recorded because people won't reali realise what's happened. So I thought, oh well, we'll let those videos come out first and then, then it makes sense. Requisition sim, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. A game all about lists and inventory management. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> yeah, it's almost like if you had a, uh, a supermarket game where all you have to do is manage the uh, the, the, shel uh, the shelf stock. And, you know, you have to, every so often you have to bring all the old stuff from the back of the shelf to put it at the front of the shelf so people buy that and it doesn't go out of date. Yeah. That would be a... Oh, my goodness. Do you know what? I, I laugh at that, but there's probably a um, an early XS game out there for exactly that. 
I wouldn't be surprised. In that spate of comic simulators we had in the last two or three years. You know. There's probably one. I bet you there is something like that, actually. Right, guns are rearmed. Huzzah. Hatches need to go back on. And that is job. Whoa, hello. <laughs> Real close inspection of that one for some reason. <laughs> That's the stim. Stock rotation DLC. Woo, yeah. <laughs> Go. Oh yes, I, I when I was a when I was at college, I, I used to work in a supermarket as well. I had a job there. And every or is it every so often you have to do that the big stock take where everyone has to come in on a Sunday and do it. Oh my goodness. God, I don't miss that. Oh, I used to hate doing that. I hated it. Because it was always on the Sunday when the Grand Prix was on. It's like, I wanna watch go and watch the Grand Prix. Oh well oh he's lost his um radiator cover, is he? It has Oh, I don't think that should just fall out like that, should it? How are these pipes? Are they all looking good? All right, so imagine his coolant's a bit low as well. Let's just see if that radiator is repairable. No, it's not. You know, a bit of... Um... Oh, what's that stuff you put in your radiator if you've got a small pinhole leak? Radex. Yeah, no, Radex will not resolve that, apparently. Oh, yes. Ooh. Mm, yeah, it doesn't look good. All right, we'll get another one of those then. No problemo. Uh, we probably need a cover as well. Have you got cover? We'll have to bash one those together with a bit of um, 2 by 4 That'll be fine. There we go. Oh, well, we've got the cover. The cover was already there, apparently. We've got a spare one. Oh, my goodness. I don't seem to be able to get the nuts on that one. There you go. Radiator repaired. Obviously, the coolant will be have all fallen out. So, um, the gun camera. Uh, next job. Check the engine for damaged parts. Refuel the coolant. Refuel the aircraft. Okie dokie. Right. So we've probably got some. Yeah, some bits got probably a little bit over, overheated, and uh, may have caused a little bit of damp, damp, damp <laughs> damage. God, this camera. I, I do not like this camera. I don't get on well with this camera. Right, let's have a look then. Let's have a look. We know this, the generator is good because we, we replaced that last time. The suppressor is good because we just replaced that. Let's paint the uh, engine green or yellow. Let's see how everything is. Um, so, oil. How was the oil? The fuel filter was okay. The oil filter. No, that's okay. That didn't get too hot then. Um, exhausts. They all look fine. They all look fine. The coolant pipes. Well, they look surprisingly fine. Port cylinder head, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Yep, 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 yep. Excellent. Um, air compressor, that's all. Look, let's get this side off. Uh, I've got a funny feeling we're going to have to strip the engine a bit to find whatever it is which is caused has been caused damage by the uh, the overheating. Um, can we zoom in a little bit? There you go. Would I see coolant something or other then? Did I? Did I? Did I? Or did I just imagine that? Engine start is fine. So I check the battery. <laughs> just in case. Um, they're okay. Coolant tank. That's fine. Uh, let's get this off. Because I think we're going to have to start stripping the engine to have a good look inside. Um, let's just take this off. See if there's any issues. Because obviously the coolant goes in here. Well, the coolant runs along here in these pipes. Uh, see if there's any. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. 
Obviously, it's just a huge heat sink, isn't it? Basically, to get all the heat out of the engine. That's all okay. Get the valves checked out. Oh, this could be a long old day. We might have a faulty valve. Got to concentrate now because I've got to watch where I put the mouse clicker. Oh, it's all about finding the click spot. It's like a 90s adventure game. Um, let's get that out. For the sake of it, let's start stripping it out. Now, last time, I was lucky that I found the, the fault on the, the first side of the engine I started to strip. May not be lucky all the time going forward. Oh, they're out there again. The ignition wires out. 25 minutes left. Oh, I think they're just throwing these times in anyway now. Uh, we know we can take out. I love taking these out. Yes. Sweet. Right, that all looks okay. okay. Let's get the um, that off. Let's check it's not just the pipe <laughs> from the coolant. Uh, it's all okay, that's all okay. Uh, right. Oh, we need to get the exhaust off for this. How does one get the exhaust off? I hear you cry. You have to deselect and reselect because sometimes it can be a bit weird. Is it not related to the radiator? Um, yes. Guessing either a head gasket or a single piston ring somewhere. Oh, you might be right. Uh, the thing is, if it may not necessarily be on the um, the radiator cooling path, i.e., pipes and uh, that kind of thing. It could be if the coolant's all if the radiator's leaked, all the coolant's gone out, the engine's not getting its correct cooling, so anything could overheat and burn out. That's the that's the problem. That's the problem. Could be anything. Right, let's get this lower ignition off. There we go. Yeah, I remember. Oh, I oh, what car was it? I think it was a. It was my old. Um, oh, years ago, I had a Vauxhall um, Calibra. That was it. Uh, lovely car. I loved it. Um, oh my god, look at these. But what it, one of the problems it did have was a, a, leak, a leaking heater matrix. Now that's, it's part of the coolant system, but obviously which puts the heat into the cabin. And it's it's under the, uh, or it's behind the steering wheel. So it's above where your, your driver's feet would be. Yeah, and so the driver's footwell was wet and it's like, oh, it's leaking, I had to replace all that. It wasn't actually that bad. I managed to get a Voxel Astra <laughs> replacement part, which is practically the same thing. Um, but it was like half the price, which was sweet. So, but yeah, that was a pain because that started, you know, your, your coolant's going down. You're thinking, oh my goodness, what could that potentially damage? Right, let's get all this off. Good job we've got that upgrade with those two assistants. We can just sit them off and uh, have a little drink while they while we wait. We should set up some sort of betting system where you can bet on what you think the problem is. <laughs> it's a head gasket. That's what it is. Oh, it's a piston ring. Oh yeah, the pistons look um, they look fine. Just check that the gasket is fine on this side. Um, let's take the gasket off, take the block off, and let's have a look at these uh, piston rings then. Fine, fine, pristine, fine, 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 pristine, fine, okay. Well, it's not on that side, it would seem. Um, how are the... 
everything else looks fine. Well then, better put that back together. Actually, before we do that, let's let's strip the other side. Makes it look like we've um, we've done a little bit more for our time. Right, let's get all this off then. Cheddar sandwich with peach iced tea. Enjoy, enjoy, Metal Witcher. Enjoy. You've deserved. You've deserved that. You've earned that. Yes, you have. You've been heroic war effort to get the Spitfire ready for action. We salute you. Those who are mechanicking salute you. I say mechanicking. I'm just. I'm coloring in all the highlighted nuts so somebody else takes them out for me. It's very much a supervisory role, it feels. There we go. Almost there. There we go. Let's have a quick look in here. How all these... It's probably quicker to take them out and have a look in the inventory rather than anything else. Ah ha ha! We have a damage valve! We have two damage valves! Aha! Right, we'll get these these ones out. Can we? Woo, 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 woo. Some crazy inventory assortment. Right, where are these valves? Two damage valves. We cannot repla uh, repair them. If I replace them, will that fix the problem? If that is, we can build the engine again. Whoa! There's shimmy up here. Check the engine for damaged parts. We've nailed it. Nailed it. There we go. Two damaged valves. See, if we'd have, if I'd have taken this side of the engine off first, that would have been a two-minute job. Now I've got to rebuild the entire left block. <laughs> ah, joy. <laughs> but hey, this is what we're here for. Win the war. And stuff. Right. We yep. Right, that's that side pretty much done. Uh, we'll put that on once we've got this side built. I should get my ladder out really, so I can um, quickly hop on. Yep, all good. All right, let's put this gasket back on and put the top bit on. A million and one screws, colouring the orange. There we go. And while it's doing that, can I put this? Uh, there we go. I can. I well, the, let's see when when the assistants are doing that bit. I can put the um, spark plugs back in, which is neat, isn't it? We can we can. I was going to say work in parallel. That's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Right, you will you do that. Assistance. I'll just colour it in for you, give you instruction on what you need to do. And while you're doing that, I will fill these in. Oh yes. Brilliant that is, isn't it? Make sure we don't put that damage one one or two back in. Put a rocking cover on. Now you got some more bolts to screw down, assistance. When you're done with that. Oh god. <laughs> I'm painting really badly. You good? Right, let's get this back on then. Uh, then we can, I suppose, put the sparkies in. Get the ignition wires on, and then we can start building in the. Um, Did I take the spark plugs out from the other side? I don't think I did. No, I don't think I did. Um, I'll just double check that actually. Uh, 
Uh, is these are these ignition? Yeah, they are actually connected to spark plugs. That's good. <laughs> I'm just having, having a little bit of mild doubt there. I don't know where that came from. I don't want to put this all back together and forget to put the spark plugs in. Yeah, you, you never tire of that um, Rolls Royce purr, do you? It's just. Oh. And guarantee, if I hear that, if I'm in the garden, it's uh, you know, you're running to, you know, to see what it is. It's it's just brilliant. Um, you don't often get, you know, Spitfires or um, anything that exciting flying over the house, but um, anything old anyway. We do get we do get quite a lot um, flying over the house. So uh, yesterday, in fact, we had two of the. Um, Oh, what are they are they ospreys? The the American kind of like half hair hair aeroplane, <laughs> half hairy plane, and half helicopter. You know, and the the, ro the two big roto blades, you know, can uh, rotate from vertical to horizontal. Um, yeah, two of those flew over yesterday. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. But what we normally have, we've got um, helicopters, the Apaches fly over here a lot. I've actually got quite a cool little video when, last summer when they were flying over the, uh, the the landing in the field behind the house. Just doing low level flying, which is pretty sweet. Uh, but we do get a lot of um, aircraft sort of, of, of a vintage age flying over because we have the, lots of uh, various air shows around here and obviously Duxford is probably only, well it's an hour and a half away in the car so it's probably like 20 minutes in, in an airplane, so um, yeah, they fly over quite a lot. You get a lot of um, uh, Texas um, you know, the trainers, the De Havilland, is it the Texas trainer anyway? You get lots of those fly over, which are, are quite nice. Um, refill coolant and refill the aircraft. And what else do we get fly over? Um, trying to think. We get we get biplanes fly over strangely like um, obviously going to an air air displays because obviously I live out in the country where uh, there's not a lot going on around here except for fields so they they're allowed to do a little bit of practice flying so we had two um, biplanes in formation loop, doing loops the other day or about a week or so ago that's quite fun run out run out run out, run out into the garden and watch them for five minutes it's a uh, it's great. I love it. <laughs> right. Uh, 21 messages were deleted by the moderator. Oh, steam elements. Timed out. Auto fire. Sorry about that, bud. I don't know what... Um, what's going on there. That's probably just got a bit overexcited. I do apologise. Right, that's the coolant thingy. So let's grab a can of coolant. And I'm guessing we're going to use all three in here. Because to refill the entire system, this is going to, yeah, minimum of three cans, I would have thought. Yeah, Streamlabs mod has just gone, or well, the bot has just gone crazy, so I apologise for that. Uh, I don't know why. I'll have to. I have to put it put it under leash. Get it back under control. See, these are the things you don't realise when you haven't streamed for a while. It's all the back end stuff, which is all confusing. And it changes so much. When I was streaming a lot, probably about two years ago, all the the mods have all changed. The the bots have changed pretty much. There's still a few odd the old ones around, and everything else. It's just so more advanced than it was back then. And I really cannot put this can down. There we go. Just leave it out in the sunshine. Yeah, it's amazing the uh, the speed of development, I suppose. Streaming has become far more popular in the last three or four years, isn't it? And obviously all the support box come along as well. There we go. Jobs are good. I'm... Oh, dear. I'm doing which the uh, safety certificate or the safety uh, label always tells you not to do on the ladder is to use the back of the ladder. I say always, it's just it's on my ladder anyway. 
It's <laughs> just just a personal reference. So I always, every time you go up the ladder, it says, "Don't climb up the ladder on the wrong way." I don't know why. It should be just as good that one way as it is the other. Right. Anyway, I'm rambling uh, about nothing in particular. That is a job well done. So job three four two six. Replace all gun pulp patches. Replace the damaged radiator. The engine. Check the engine for damaged parts. Refuel the aircraft. Refill the coolant. Rearm the machine guns. Perfect job. We are so close to now coming to a corporal. Right, one more. One more job, I think. And and then I will call it a day. Oh, 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 don't crash on me. No, no, we're still going. Fantastic. Oh, oh, it's just a small matter of fixing the hydraulic system. Oh, <laughs> I'll do it in a jiffy. Right, patrol over Hastings. No enemies sighted. Check hydraulics. Had to manually lower the undercarriage. Well, it's probably good practice. Refuel the aircraft. Check the hydraulics. Roger. Let's get the refueling out of the way first. And that way we can get rid of the truck. And Steve can go about his daily business and go and refuel some other aircraft. Lovely. Sorry, Steve. Right. Thinks I'm spamming something on chat. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. I think it's it just so happens to when um, hydration bot comes in, which tells you to drink water basically. It's just a, a cool little bot which you know, works out how long you've been streaming and tells you how much you should have drunk to stay hydrated in that time. You've probably seen it in other streams. Uh, and it's funny enough, that bot was just about to pass the message and it was the same time that it deleted um, your message as well. So I, I, that may have been the trigger to be fair. Right, click that Dune, but I will check the settings um, tomorrow to see what Steam Elements is doing. Right, uh, hydraulics, hydraulics. What do we know about hydraulics? Well, I could tell you all I know about hydraulics on um, the back of a cigarette packet. Now, Stocko Gloss, he's the hydraulics guy. I know he happens to be a hydraulics engineer, so he's probably the guy I need right about now. Um, so let's get all this uncovered so we can have a good look around. Right, so it's going to be... Um, right. Who, who knows? Um, right, hydraulics. That's not hydraulics, obviously, but... If in doubt, when I'm when I'm thinking about it, I just start painting everything in colours. <laughs> uh, so we need air compressors. So there's going to be a hydraulic pump. There we go. That's damaged. That might be it. Um, what on earth are you doing, game? Stop that. Stop it. Stop it. Go back to the hydraulic pump. Let's get the hydraulic pump off then. We know that's damaged. Uh, let's have a quick look around here. The starboard cylinder head is okay. Anything else we need to worry about? Obviously it'll have a pump. Uh, is there a hydraulic filter? Because you don't want anything getting into your hydraulic fluid which may be a contaminant. I may be overthinking this. It's oil filter. Uh, anyway, let's get the, um, the pump sorted. Uh, pipes and fluid, that's all I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it with me as well. We can repair it, which is good. It gives an opportunity to show off our craftsmanship at the table with the um, super glue, whatever that is. Right, hydraulic pump, Uno. Let's get this repaired. Squirt some oil on it. And let's get this done. So I laugh that all you have to do is squirt oil on this, but um, oh my goodness, look how small that one is. Nailed it. Um, one of the uh, when I we, I don't know if you know I've probably mentioned this a few times. We moved into an old house, it's a very old house, and um, 
one of, uh, it's got two bathrooms and one of them's got a really old shower now it's, it's all it was all seized up and I couldn't even get the um, the gubbins to move around oh done it was the pump um so yeah I, I took the whole I stripped the whole thing apart and uh, and I thought oh okay I know what it is there's this this little cylindrical bit in there which spins around but it's been hasn't been used for so many years it's all kind of clogged in and it's all kind of sealed itself it's not wasn't rusty but you know it's kind of all got all locked together with um, a bit of lime scale and all sorts in there uh, and I needed to replace that because it literally seized so I was like okay have a look for that uh, couldn't find the bit because they stopped producing parts for that shower in 1986 yes it was on sale from 1979 to 1986 I thought ah. Oh, bugger and I couldn't find any replacement parts for it so I ended up having to strip the whole thing oiling it and covering it in silicon grease for a week and then it all came apart gave it a good clean up put it all back together and amazingly the shower works it's like wow it's just a basic you know mechanical um spitter shower type thing but um yeah there we go I laugh but it actually fixed my shower my my vintage shower. That shower is almost as old as I am. I've just realised that saying that. But yeah, grand. So it, don't always chuck things away. It's always worth putting a bit of oil on them. And you never know. You can, with a bit of elbow grease and a bit of patience, get things back to working order. But then, back then, things were built a bit better. Were they where there wasn't such a disposable generation, disposable economy so um, yeah things were built to uh, to last 10 minutes remaining but uh, we've actually done the job I don't know why I'm sitting there chatting away about my shower which no one's interested in but there we go all right taff sorted fix the hydraulic system it was the pump sorted refuel the aircraft let the purring engines go over it's as old as me 1979 yeah I'm a 1979 there as well Auto far, we're the same age. Have you hit the big 4-0 yet? Or are you still looking forward to that later in the year? Um, right, we are so close. So close to getting Corporal now. I'll just have a quick look at this job, see what it is. Quick look at this job. It's just to see if it's a quickie. Oh, it's not a quickie. Feel, refuel colon refuel the aircraft, rearm the machine guns, refill the oil, replace the machine. Do you know what? No, we'll do that one. It is the standard maintenance. We can... I didn't actually read the gubbins. Large bomber group over London, one bomber and one fighter down. Check the oil and coolant. Well done, sir. Well done. Right, we'll quickly do this then because, you know, uh, it's a nice one and it'd be nice if we can get to Corporal before we uh, call it an evening. That would be absolutely sweet as a nut. Got there in March. Oh, well, happy birthday. Let's wait for the air aircraft to go over. Happy birthday. Many happy returns. I'm only a couple of... Oh, no, hang on. I'm only a month away now. From the big 4 -0. And, um... Yeah. <laughs> not, not really worried about it at all, really. It's just never really... I'm not really a birthday person. I don't really worry about it at all. I know some people go crazy over birthdays, but yeah, I've never really celebrated them. You know, don't mind getting a good, the odd card and going out for a drink or having a bit of cake. But uh, yeah, I'm not that fussed. Me personally, I suppose it is a credit that I've survived this many years of my stupidity. I, I suppose, you know, take that, natural selection. <laughs> you haven't got me yet. <laughs> 40 years and counting. And then buy a Spitfire instead of a Ferrari. <laughs> what? A little model? A little die-cast one? Yeah, I, I'm about, oh, I don't know, a million pounds away from buying a Ferrari. And, or, well, they don't cost a million pounds. But, you know, like, uh, how much does a Spitfire set you back these days? A couple of mil, probably? Yes, I'm a long way away. From wherever it is, I am pretty much that distance away from getting it, yeah. It would be my dream one day if I was to win the lottery. Maybe I'd buy a vintage aircraft and, you know, put it into one of these 
res restoration companies. I'd probably want to get an aircraft which is not around flying at the moment. It's only a number, never really fussed really. Nah, same here, I'm exactly the same. Uh, we survived the 80s, we are made of <laughs> sterner stuff. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm glad I was of an age where I was too young to really be worried about the fashion of the punk age. Yes, I'm glad I didn't have to live through as a teenager or above through the punk phase, which is quite nice. But, we, you know, obviously being the same age, when I was at college, it was kind of that grunge, grunge phase, which everyone was in baggy jumpers and looked scruffy and you think, eh. you know, awful as well when you think about it. And now you look at, you look at, you know, the last... 2000s and you know people dressed reasonably smartly and you think oh you do look a lot better these days but never mind yes um yeah no, no, what i'd do definitely if i was going to get an old aircraft I'd, I'd definitely want to get one restored which is not in flight condition anywhere at the moment so something obviously as you say spitfires are quite rare but there's actually millions of spitfires but that's an exaggeration clearly but there is a lot of Spitfires which are flyable. There's not that many, you know, kind of Battle of Britain grade um, aircraft still flying. But they are about. I think the uh, Battle of Britain Memorial's got one. Uh, Duxford's got one. Um, yeah, I went to... Um, oh, it was, actually, it was probably 2017. The Battle of Britain uh, air show at Duxford. And they had 22 Spitfires. And they had six hurricanes, and that's just amazing. Um, so yeah, you know, 22 Spitfires. Can you? That was just oh, it was sheer amazing. Um, so yeah, I've never seen that many Spitfires flying at one time. To be fair, that was just sheer. Oh, it was just magic. I did record some footage on my phone, but it just does, just didn't do it justice. It's just amazing. The sounds and the, the smells. It's just oh. Anyway, so I probably wouldn't get one. Oh, don't don't get me wrong. I would love one like that, but um, I'd love to be in the position to own a Spitfire. But um, let, let's be honest, it ain't gonna happen. Um, but I'd probably go for something. I don't know, a little bit rarer. I was the day glow glow track suits and uh, floppy hair in the nineties. Oh God, yes. Yes. <laughs> oh God, yes. Let's let's not let's at least mentioned yeah, as soon as forgotten, as they say. But um I would probably do you know what? I'd probably go for uh, a bomber. I would like to get a bomber back in. I'd probably wanna get we've got a flying Lancaster um in the UK. Obviously you've got the, the flying Lancaster in Canada, uh, Vera. Um, I was very lucky to see both of those flying together when Vera came over to the UK. Fantastic. Um, I would love to see a flyable Wellington. I think there's only two Wellingtons in the UK. The Wellington bomb. I think there's one in... The one that was pulled out of the loch. Um, is that in the Imperial War Museum in London? And there's another one there somewhere as well. I'd love to get something like that flying. That would be a real testament. I'd love that. Remember watching Piece of Cake? Uh, there are only five flyable spits in the world then. Was there really? Crikey. Yeah. Oh, of course, the one thing that we really do need in the UK is a flyable mosquito. Oh yes. Now I know I know uh, Canada's got one. New Zealand's just had one. I think there's a company in New Zealand which have got all the frames and stuff and they can actually build them again. Build all the parts and build a, a flying mosquito and there's um, some guys working on that now. Uh, there is a mosquito up in Lincolnshire where um, Just Jane. Just Jane is a Lancaster bomber, which is taxi ready, and they're hoping to get that flyable as well. So we may have, in a few years, uh, two Lancaster bombers flying in the UK, which would be quite exciting. Oh. What? 
<laughs> Hang on. I'm having trouble traversing this ladder. Right. Hang on. Hang on a minute. Put that away. I've just got to... Right. I don't seem to be able to climb the ladder with the hose in hand. No. Hang on. Stand by. Uh, other Wellington at uh, Brooklyn's Museum. Ah, that's where the other one is. Okay, cool, yeah. I'd love to see one of those um, up in the air. I always loved the Wellington. Um, let's try about there. But yeah, I think we need a Spitfire in the skies, don't we? Uh, not Spitfire, sorry, a Mosquito. A Mosquito. Can I... Oh, what? What? <laughs> Why? What? Why is this not play? This is the simplest task, and I'm just stuck now. Oh, this bloody ladder. Right, ladder. Sort yourself out. Right, put you over there. I'm going to have to move you now, because this bloody ladder won't work. Yeah, mosquito, I think. Or maybe a Wellington, but probably mosquitoes have got more of a chance of getting that flying again. As I said, the, uh, we're just journeys with Lancaster. Anyway, I'll finish what I was saying. They've got a... Um, a mosquito up there which is um, they've just got her engines running again and the idea is I don't know if the idea is to get her flight ready or to get her taxi ready but um, either way it'd be nice to get one back in the skies I think lovely Right. God, that was an ordeal, wasn't it? That that was far more bothersome than that should ever have been. Right, let's get this out of the way. Sorted. Right, that's that done. Oh god, what what now? Oh, that sort of really killed me. That is right. Coolant and fuel. Okay, the ladder is in a good place though, which is the good thing. Right, coolant now. This shouldn't really need much of a top up, seeing as we just completely refilled the entire system last time. Yeah, it's just a top up. Lovely. All lovely fresh coolant. Pop that down there. Oh, I can't drop the can again. Oh, God. Ten minutes left and I can't put the can down. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I'm trapped. <laughs> oh, hang on. Um, right, let's try and do some other tasks and maybe the can will eventually want to come out of my hand. No, I can't do anything while I've got the can. I can't do that. No, don't bug on me now. Don't bug on me now. Coolin is my only weakness. No, I know. Oh, no. No, hang on. We just gotta refuel the aircraft, but I just gotta put this can down. Go on, anywhere. Oh no, don't bug out now, please. Please, 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 please. Right, hang on, maybe if we take that out, we'll put a little bit, tiny little bit more coolant in. And maybe that'll just rejig the coolant can a little bit more. Just a wee bit. There we go. There we go. Right, maybe that's unlocked it. No. No, we're stuck with a can of coolant in our hand. Ah, right, let's 
check the jobs manual for what happens when you get stuck with a can of coolant in your arms. Um, I guess we can't do anything else, can we? Well, we got this coolant in our hands. We've got. A, have we got a free hand? Oh, okay. Hang on. We might be able to get away with this. Oh, I can't get the fuel. <gasps> oh, it's out. It's gone. <laughs> it's gone. Okay. Okay, I've dropped it. All right, let's get this close while we're here. Well, that's the first time I've had that problem with it. Let's stay away from that. Cool. Job done. Wow, I thought we'd just save. Oh, shh. We just saved that one. I thought we were done for then. I thought we were done for. Off to go, Steve. Phew. Right, fill the cap in. Job done. I'll get one of the assistants to move that can. Don't worry, I'm, I'm not going near it. It's just deadly that. Right. Job done. Oof. Okay, replace all gun port patches. Completed. Refill the coolant. Completed. Refill the aircraft. Completed. Rearm the machine guns. Completed. Refill, blah, 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 refill the oil. Completed. Replace the machine gun camera. Perfect job. And we've crashed through our corporal exam. Fantastic. Let's get some skill points. And we'll have a lovely way to uh, end right there. So we've got three skill points. I think having a another assistant would be useful. Maintenance expert. As a maintenance expert, fixing parts is easy as pie. Well, they're pretty pretty easy at the moment, to be fair. Alright boys, alright boys, keep it down, keep it down. Um, good connections. First couple oh, sorry, a couple of bottles of brandy sent into the right people ensured that you always first in line for fuel and spare parts. On all tasks with time limits, you have an additional 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Or oil system specialist. Begin an, begin an expert on oil systems means... That should be being, isn't it? Be <laughs> um, oh, it was that one. No, hang on. Oh, we already had that one. Hang on. Coolant system then. Sorry. I must have... Sometimes if you, if you go over the wrong one, it... it Keeps it anyway. Coolant specialist. As a specialist on engine cooling systems, well, we have we have done the uh, the, the hydraulic no, the radiator, wasn't it? Yeah. You don't need to check every part to locate the problem. Okay. And, and a fuel system specialist. Well, we might as well get the two specialists. There we go. And we don't worry about the maintenance or the good connections. So we get an extra extra assistance. So that's three assistants. We become a coolant system specialist and a fuel system specialist. Sounds good. We're now a corporal. Happy days. Happy days. Oh, we got that rumbling again. I always think it's going to crash when, it, when the propeller stops going around. That's what usually happens to planes. Uh, refuel the aircraft. Okay, no enemy contacts. Refuel the aircraft for the next flight. Uh, well, well, as I'm saying goodbye, I will just finish this job as it's a nice simple one. Um, so yeah, thank you ever so much for joining me this evening. Um, just for a quick stream. It's always nice to do something nice and chilled and this game is nothing if not chilled. And it's one of those games where you can actually play it and actually have the chance to read chat. A lot of the other games, you know. I fancied, I was going to possibly do a bit of driving tonight. Maybe a, a bus sim or a, a Euro truck sim. But you know, it's incredibly difficult. To read uh, chat while you're actually doing it. Oh, how many times am I going to pick up that ladder tonight? Right. Fish bash boss. Another job done. Mr. Reed, thank you very much. And thank you, Auto Fire. Off goes Steve. Metal Witcher, I salute you. I'm glad you had the reward of your cheese sandwich. Well played with the battery. Well played. We could have been here a long time if you hadn't come up with that one. 
Sweet. Right, we'll just sign off there. Refuel the aircraft. That's job three, four, five, eight. Nice and simple. For Corporal Taff. Yeah. And we're going to leave it there, guys. Who knows what comes next? I don't know. We must be getting close to the mo mosquito now. Ooh. Maybe I'll bring you some more very soon. Anyway, thanks ever so much for watching. Thank you very much for joining me this evening. It's been a pleasure, as always. I'll try and make some more um, regular streaming going forward and variety as well. And, uh, yeah, thank you ever so much. Take care. Ha have a lovely rest of your evening, and I will see you very soon. Tomorrow there will be some U-Boat coming out, so uh, check that out on YouTube. Obviously, if when this stream goes live onto YouTube, that will be completely outdated, so ignore that if you're watching on YouTube. But anyway, <laughs> cheers, guys. Have a good one. I'll catch you later.